the Dodge City Wars. Luke Short and William Harris were owners of the Long Branch Saloon in Dodge City. On April 3, 1883, Harris ran for the office of mayor, but what lost to the former town marshal, Larry Digger. The man who hired Whiter as a deputy. Three weeks later, three weeks later, Digger passed two city ordinances. The aim was to shut down the Long Branch, the most popular saloon in Dodge, and allowing his friend Abe Webster to take it over. Things happened. Some bar girls were arrested. The Dodge City band that played in the Long Branch Saloon was arrested. There was a little gunplay. Luke Short wound up barricaded in his saloon. But in the end, he was arrested. And he was jailed. The next day, he was escorted to the rain train station, was told to leave Dodge, and to never come back, or that would be his demise. So he left. When he got to Topeka, Kansas, he sent for Bat Masterson to help him get back his business, his property. Bat sent for Wyatt Earp. They talked to Governor George Click, who promised to stay out to stay out of the affair. Ford County Sheriff George Hinkle got wind that something was up, and he wired the governor for help. But no help would come. Bat, Wyatt, and Luke contacted other friends. They included was Bill Tillman, Charlie Bassett, Frank McLean, Neil Brown, Doc Holliday, Shotgun Collins, Jack Vermillion, Dan Timpton, Johnny Millsap, Johnny Green. The town marshal, Jack Bridges, remained neutral. He stayed out of the affair. June 4th of the same year, Wyatt Earp enters the town. A few other gunslingers did the same, but from different entry points. It was at the train depot where Wyatt ran into his old friend, Dog Dave Morrow, who was a special deputy. He deputized, deputized Wyatt as requested. Well, they were all deputized. Those deputized at that time was Bill Tillman, Charlie Bassett, Shotgun Collins, and Frank McLean. The town was under siege. There was no help coming. Mayor Digger and his group asked to talk to Wyatt, and he agreed. The next day, Luke Short and Bad Masterson entered town as conquering heroes. He got back his saloon and his properties and his bank accounts. The war was over. Pat and Wyatt told Digger and his and Abe Webster they would be back in force if anything in that agreement was not honored. The war was over. Some of the most respected and feared lawmen and gunslingers in their time never fired a shot. Thus, they were coined the Dodge City Peace Commission. Thank you.